Welcome back to another video on the Kitsune token. It is ticker KIT. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. So please do not make investments based on what I say in these videos. All right, let's do some technical analysis of the chart. Looks like I already went through the entirety of the price action up to date. Looks pretty good. We had this big run up to $10 million market cap. Did kind of an ugly double top right here. Neckline at $3.5 million market cap. And that is currently the key resistance level. Okay, so that's the four hour chart, which means each candlestick represents four hours of price action. Now, this is where it gets interesting. I think this is gonna be one of the projects that has solid longevity in the space. I can't say that for many projects, but I think this is definitely uh, a good contender in the long run. So $10 million market cap all time high currently at $1.5 million market cap. I would say it's on discount right now, heavy discount. So you had a sell off, which was to the tune of 88%. Now pretty much all Solana coins have a 80% pullback around that range. I've yet to see one that didn't have a significant pullback. Um, now the ones that are legit have a good team behind it, have a good narrative, have a good community. This one has utility, the raid to earn utility where you actually get compensated for raiding, uh, just being active on Twitter. It's pretty insane to think about it. It's like having your cake and eating it too. Um, when you have something that is hitting on all cylinders and it has that pullback, it'll typically find support somewhere um, and you'll see a reversal pattern, all right? So let me pull up the VPVR, volume profile visible range. So now we have all the price action in range in view. So, okay, a lot of the volume was transacted one, two, three, four, five the first six days, all right? The first week of price action, we'll just say that. Um, and then it had this big run up, quick run up over the span of a couple days. So that's why it's pretty thin up here. But as time goes on, I think this is gonna thicken out and you're gonna see higher support levels being established. So let's forget about that for a second. And you have this double bottom forming, all right? So you have this downtrend and then you have a bullish pin bar right here bullish pin bar. Uh, it's kind of like a doji candle. But in any case, when you have a, um, a bar at the top and then a long wick at the bottom after a downtrend, that's the chart going, okay, we might have found some support here. We might start reversing. That's what that candle tells you. And then you keep watching. And it had four green candles in a row. These are the daily. Goes up to the neckline at 3.5 million. So the key levels, by the way, are 1.2 million and 3.5 million, all right? So it went up to the neckline, then it sold off. This is a bearish engulfing. One, two, three, four, sold off. And guess what? It's finding support at this previous level that it touched right here, all right? Remember, it's always a range. It's never exactly 1.2 million. You know, in this case, it's 1.2 to 1.4 million. That's the range. And right now, so this is the daily for March 30th. It's March 30th, 12.59 p.m. on the West Coast, by the way. This is the March 30th candle. So there's still some hours left in it, but you're seeing uh, an inverted pin bar candle, which is also a reversal candlestick. So what I'm gonna be watching going forward, I'd like to see this bounce from this 1.2 range. I'd like to see it bounce. And it might not go straight up, but I'd like to see it bounce and make its way towards 3.5. Now it might get rejected, might do a bull flag, whatever. Um, might even do a, a head and shoulders and then probably fail and continue upward. <laughs> but uh, I wanna see it move towards 3.5 million and then hopefully eventually break through it. Old resistance becomes new support and continue upward and make a uptrend, all right? 
So levels above 3.5, you have 5.2 and 7 million. So why do I have those levels? Well, let's see. This is the one hour chart. Okay, so I have 5.2 because price ran up, came down, found support right here. Touched once. Uh, you kind of see it wicked it, stop right there. Uh, and then this is where it makes it really clear. You see price just ping ponging back and forth. And in this range, the resistance level is right about 5.2. All right, so right there, you know, it's always a range. Um, it's like 5.4, but yeah, 5.2 is resistance. It broke through out of that. Came down, found support at this 3.5. Um, got rejected right here. At uh, 5.2. So it's touching 5.2 multiple times. And it's getting rejected or it's bouncing off of it. So that's why I have that level. I'd like to see it, uh, it clear 5.2. Nice, okay. And you can see the volume kind of shrinks in right there and then it thickens up after 5.2. So you might see some resistance between 5.2 and seven, um, but after 7 million, as you can see with the historical price action or historical transactional volume on the right hand side, after 7 million, the volume thins out. So there's gonna be less resistance. It's gonna be an easier move up. That's all that means because there's not a lot of historical price action, which means there's not a lot of resistance levels established. So that's why I have seven um, as a level. You also see it go up, get rejected. Um, it, got, it went up, got rejected right there, came down, found support right here. So that's also how I know that's a key level, all right? So level to the downside is 1.2. To the upside is 3.5. And then above that is 5.2 and seven. Um, honestly, above 5.2, I don't think it should have much problem uh, retesting all time high at the very least. So that's what the chart is telling me right now. Check this out, some updates on Twitter. The kit raid to earn bot has been out for a few days now, and we'd like to hear some feedback on it. We're open to all forms of feedback, and we will look to take it on board as we perfect our raid to earn bot for further queries please contact our mods or the kit team. Super dope, uh, stellar team. They're open to feedback. Why? Because they're trying to make greatness and you can't make greatness unless you are aware of the product that you created, how it's affecting individuals and how it's going to optimize their trading experience and cryptocurrency experience as a whole. So that is your update for Kitsune Token. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.